climbing chain in what people call the People Towers. It's good to live here in safety, close to public transport, with a community centre and helpful people. We have a community garden and a sport field. And the kids are happiest about the Debney's playground, which the old government spent $2.4 million on in 2012. Those lovely new facilities are well known, well used and enjoyed by more than 700 children who live in the area. It's really fun to hang out on and it's my favourite thing is like the flying fox and the climbing rope. Most of the kids play on it and they play racing on the ropes and that's what we like about the park. Most of the 2,000 people who live here are in families and many of them are refugees from strife-torn countries. So the residents could get some peace and be able to sleep, CityLink added big sound barriers. But now we learn that they want to build another four lanes much closer to our homes, probably only 35 metres from our windows. They say this elevated road is mainly for big trucks to take containers to and from the port, so the noise will be very loud. And with this new road, no one is even promised us sound bias. Anyone could bury us really stop the track noises so close to our home. Well, it will be lots of noise and pollution as well. And there's like there's families that have babies and everything and we'll be really hard to sleep for them as well. And what about all the stinky diesel and car farms? Why should our children be exposed to all that? It's their very own backyard. Those planning the tollway say we don't have to worry. The road won't be going through the playground. Only the pylons. Only the pylons? Will these giant towers of concrete just appear by magic? Won't they need big construction trucks in the playground and very high cranes to put up the long spans of road? You don't need to worry, they said, but the roadway will be as high as 13th floor of our home. Would you want your children to play under huge road? And what about safety? Accidents do happen and the children should not be put at risk. Trucks quite often shed bits off their load. What chance would a little girl have, even if hit only by a hubcap, when it falls from 50 metres above? Our land's abounds in nature. We, including refugees from terrible persecution overseas, have felt safe here until now. Please don't let them drive those monster roads through our lives.